I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's Independence and where well, there's uh, Onion Valley. That's a pen of gold. Hopefully, I get down there and pin sometime today. So, everything's going good. I uh, put out miles behind me. I feel kind of beat up right now, but uh, my goal is to get to Trailhead and Independence sometime today. Well, it's about almost 8.20 right now. I made it from uh, the Vet Meadows to Onion Valley, the trailhead there. So I was quite pleased with myself. I didn't think I was able to do it. I got the trail about 4.30 and come out to be the post office to close at 4 o'clock. So I made it down to the Independence, which was real good. I had a nice uh, sub sandwich at um, Subway's. Took a nice hot shower and got my laundry done. So there's a guy gas station next to Subway, which is to be take care of you as far as that goes. Um, I was real pleased with my progress I did today. Uh, came down about five, about five miles from the pass down to the trail junction and did really, really well. I hardly got tired. I think I must have got my trail legs. My plan is tomorrow is uh, get up, go downtown. Uh, the post office is open until 9.30, so... I got some time to kill. Once I get my package, I so go through my food and charge my cell phone. So everything looking good, have no problems. So stay tuned. I'm over here camped out at uh, Flower Lake, about two and a half hours, uh, two and a half miles from. Uh, the trailhead and about two and a half miles from the top of uh, Kirstars Pass. Today was supposed to be a zero day, that is, I wasn't going to walk any miles. I decided to come up here. This is where the people campsite up, the, up in the trailhead. And it gives me a head start on the pass tomorrow. So my plan is right now is I'm going to get an early morning start, then hike up the Kirstars Pass and go over Glen Pass. I was first originally supposed to camp out near the base. Of Grand Pass, I decided to go up and over and down to Ray Lakes. Uh, so far, I'm very pleased with the decisions I've been making. I know at the beginning of, this, of my trip, I was kind of concerned that the decisions I make would be the pop ones. And so far, everything's really working out right well. This morning, I got up well, from my campsite, went downtown, and uh, waited for the post office to open. Once that opened, I went rushed down there, got my package, started uh, sifting out my... Uh, my my food and everything, and I charged my uh, camcorder. And the people they were really nice. Uh, they really went out of the way to help me out. Um, then I didn't have too much trouble coming up here. I, that's one of my fears is eating coming down or, or or coming up. So it does wait maybe wait about a half hour to get a, my first ride to come up here to the trailhead. So everything's going good right now. Um, like I said, I'm really happy with what I, what's, what's been developing. I'm really excited about my uh, trail skills. And I'm very confident now of what I'm doing out here. And when I'm going over snow fields, don't like it too much, but I'm very confident going over them. I had this fear of heights, and I think I'm really gaining a foothold in that. As I, yes, I, there's height, and yes, I may fall. But, you know, I'm learning to really deal with that so hopefully tomorrow you get a shot from uh, going over Glen Pass and a little more uh, scenic st uh, stuff okay well I'm still going to uh, get over Kearsarge Pass right now I'm about two hours into my uh, walk from the lake I know something's going on here right now because uh, my body isn't kicking in right now. Um, note to self, and for those of you out there, if you need to get dental work or anything, little minor thing, get that done uh, before you head on the trail. Uh, yesterday morning I woke up with my back tooth, it was really bothering me. It was bothering me all day, it's kind of getting a lot better today, but um, just note that whatever medical problems you have, even maybe minor, take care of them right now before you go on the trail. So I'm not exactly sure where I end up tonight because I'm really, really struggling. But um, we'll see what happens. This is the high route coming from or going to uh, Kirsar's Pass.
the two trails there's one lower which I came up uh, the other day the lower one's down over here that's Bullfrog Lake Well, today was my, the worst day I've ever had um, uh, on my trip yet. I couldn't get nothing going. It took me forever to get down the paths. I had to take a lot of stops. Nothing was really working. I wasn't feeling it. So I really, really was discouraged about that. But I um, found out one of my major mistakes I did for planning this. I did not plan for food pickup between here and VVR. I should have either had a cash drop at uh, Mill Trail Ranch or a Bishop. Right now, the way things look, I'll be a little behind schedule. So nine days of food, 20 pounds is a lot to carry up that pass. A lot for me. So I'm here at the junction, uh, back on John Mill Trail Junction uh, to uh, Kearsarge Pass and uh, Glen Pass. So I'm going to spend a night here and uh, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. That's my motto, you know, tomorrow will be a better day and see see what happens. Okay. Well, I'm about to head up to the Glen Pass. I'm not sure to what today brings. Hopefully I have a better day today than yesterday. If for some reason I'm falling apart again today, I might just camp out at uh, Ray Lakes, about four miles from here, and just really uh, put a lot of food into myself. Maybe that's one of my problems, having been really eating that much, and you have to really make sure you're fed properly in order to fuel your, fuel your machine. So we'll see what happens today, and uh, I'm very optimistic. So stay tuned. The south side of uh, Glen Pass. Somewhere here the trail ends. You can see a bunch of little backpackers over here. So if I'm doing good, I was really surprised myself. Not as beat up as I thought I would be there as compared to yesterday. So I'm just summit over here. And if you can see him. Hey, <laughs> he's getting a, he's doing the whole uh, John, Muir John Muir, so he needs a little, a little somebody to help him film here first. That's Ray Lakes over there. That's where I'm gonna go. I come over here. There's a couple of hikers taking a breather. And this is where I came. North face of Glen Pass. Right over here. Or oh, the switchbacks. Yeah, they come down out of the right there. That's Penny Lady. And this is Ray Lakes. Well, I decided I'm going to camp here tonight. It's only four miles that I hiked today, but uh, I think my body's telling me something. So I'm going to take this afternoon off and chow down and get some carbs into me. 
So hopefully that'll be do me better tomorrow. Got to drop down to climb up. <laughs>